Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer and today is Tuesday and we usually drink tea on Tuesday but I have a broken leg and because I have a broken leg and I'm hobbling around on a scooter I cannot carry hot tea into this room so um, I have a little bit of Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar that I'm sipping on um, and today we're gonna we're gonna open some happy mail and I think tomorrow I'm going to show you some yarn that Mr. Cinnamon got me from the thrift store. So that'll be fun. There are, everybody's in the house. So, and little man doesn't know how to be quiet. He's in the other room. So I'm going to show you some happy mail that I got over the past two weeks. Um, I, I've gotten a couple, it's been about two weeks that I've, I've gotten this happy mail. There is more happy mail that is supposed to be coming as well. So if your happy mail is not in this video, it's because I, I don't have it as of Sunday. Um, and there's something that I think I put away already that was from Texana that I mentioned yesterday in yesterday's video. Um, she sent me a little tiny stitch backpack and I think I put it up. If I didn't put it up yet, I will show it to you, but it was really cute. And um, thank you, Texana. It really meant a lot to me that you sent me that. So... To get started, I'm just gonna grab some stuff. Move other stuff out of the way. All right. So this. Oh, hang on. This is all gonna be out of order. <laughs> I actually mentioned this in a previous video. Uh, this was sent to me from Gloria Schaefer. I was supposed to wear it last week, but with everything that was going on, I never got a chance to open it because I, I haven't been in here. So she sent me this thumb guard for my thumb, <laughs> which is still bothering me a little bit. So I am actually going to wear that. So thank you, Gloria, for thinking of me. I said that I actually hurt my thumb, which is like the least of my worries at right at this moment, but... <laughs> If it helps, it helps. And then I was sent this from Tammy. Isn't that cute? Uh, it says, looks like you could use a pug. Hope that helps. Hope you're having a better week, Tammy. I'm having a worse week, but it, it'll be fine. <laughs> it, it'll be fine. All right, and then this was sent to me. I have a habit of sticking mail into other mail. All right, so this is all right. I don't know if I want to discuss this card. I did get it. Um, it was one of the weirdest cards I've ever received. I'm not going to call the lady out by her name, but um, I will say this: she criticized me pretty harshly on a comment I pretty harshly and I blocked her and she wants me to unblock her there are no hard feelings but I have a really long list of block people and I don't know if I can even find your name to unblock you so um, if you want to comment you can create a new account on YouTube but um, Negative comments will always be blocked whether you're doing it in a mothering sense or not. And it was highly inappropriate to tell me that my hair was disgusting and that I needed to keep a brush on my desk and that hurt my feelings. And that's why you got blocked. And just be nice. Like you have no idea what people are going through on the internet. There is no reason mothering or otherwise to be critical of someone. There's enough harshness in this world just be kind to each other. If you have a comment that you think might hurt someone's feelings, just keep it to yourself. Um, but I can't, I have a very long list of blocked people. I don't think I would even be able to find your name in that to unblock you. So that's my advice. But it was, it was. <laughs> this one was sent to me from. Uh, I think it says Kenna. I, I, can't, I can't tell if it's Kara or Kenna. I think it's Kenna. 
Thank you for all you do for us. Tutorials, yarn reviews, and fresh ideas. I wish you the best. And she sent me these <laughs> cute little salt and pepper shakers. Okay, now TJ Maxx has the full version cookie jars of these. And I have them both on my mantle. So the miniature versions are going to go on my mantle. Even though this is a salt and pepper shaker, it's going with the cookie jars on my mantle. And I was so excited to see this. This is super cute. Um, you're going to see something similar to this again in a minute because... <laughs> You guys, great minds think alike, and you guys all have Kenna. It's on the it's on it's on the envelope. It's Kenna. Thank you, Kenna. Kenna is from Lansing, Michigan. So that was fun. And then this package came from it says Blair and Gregory, Michigan. And what is in here? <laughs> Is a Halloween Mickey shirt. I should probably put it on right now, but I don't know if it'll fit over my other clothes. Let's see. Keep in mind I have other clothes on underneath. Mickey Mouse! Isn't it cute? And it's Frank and Mickey. I have a Frank and Goofy shirt too. Alright, and there's an envelope in here that apparently I ripped to shreds. Oh! I know this had beads, pumpkin charms, and stuff for Little Man or Juju, and then there was a notebook and a pen in this one, I believe, for Little Man, which he ran off with, and Juju got her beads. And I'm opening all of this and putting it away so that I can actually put these things in my other parts of my house. Well, I'm gonna have other people put them. And this really cute. It's my first Halloween card of the season. It says, hope you all like what I sent. I thought Lucas would like the notepad and the pen. Have a great Halloween. From Carolyn, Carolyn Blair. Carolyn Blair. Isn't that pretty? Like it's sparkly. And then this one is for me. This is going to go on my mantle too. Because <laughs> while it's a coffee cup. I always laugh at these coffee cups because there's no way in God's green earth my face fits between the ears and stuff. So I have a couple of different designs with ear mugs and they end up as cup holders or decorations. He's going to go on my mantle too. I love him. I think he is the cutest thing ever because like Mickey Pumpkin is my favorite. But also this is, um, see how he's got a really teal mouth and then this, uh, this is the, um, this is the design of the Halloween stuff for this year at Walt Disney World. And it's got these really cool colors. And I have Mickey Mouse ears upstairs that match this. And I also have a shirt with the, this matching colorway on it. Because it's it was a it was the theme this year for Walt Disney World. So I love that so much. I think this is the cutest thing ever. He's gonna go on my mantle. <laughs> Which is super cute. Alright, and then This box came from Let me see. Let me see. This came from Anna in Minnesota. It had this really cool packaging in there. <laughs> All right, now What is this? Oh, I'm so confused by what this goes to. A mailing tube. <laughs> Hang on. All right. First, she sent me the Annie's Halloween crochet book, which you guys know I love Halloween. Uh, anything Halloween makes me so happy. Look at this cute stuff in here. I love this. So I've been watching a lot of Studio Ghibli movies lately because Juju got me hooked on it. Studio Ghibli is a Japanese, they make Japanese movies. It's cartoons. Um, we went to go see How Howl's Moving Castle at the movie theater. And then I've, I've since then, her and I have watched Ponyo together, which is really, really cute. We've watched, um, what was the name of the other one? Arietti, I think. And then some about Arietti, which I really like that one. It reminded me of the Borrowers, or maybe I think yeah, 
I'm confused. I've watched a lot of them. And then um, since I broke my foot, I got a lot of downtime. So I've been watching. I watched last night. I watched um, Spirited Away, which scared me. I didn't like that one. And then I watched. I watched a couple this morning. I watched The Floating Castle or something like that. And then I watched. Um, my neighbor Totoro. Oh, that was so cute. It was that that was probably my favorite next to Ponyo. And in a lot of them, they have um these little creatures that look like these spiders, except they're made out of dust. So they're dust gremlins or something. <laughs> and so when I saw that, I was like, it looks like a dust gremlin. That's what I thought of. So aren't, isn't this cute? So I really really like this. I'm gonna look through that. I had all these huge plans of things I wanted to make for Halloween. Um, I wanted to make um, a banner that goes underneath my mantle for Halloween. I wanted to make, like, there's so many things. And now with everything that's happened, I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make anything. But, like, at least I have the patterns for next year. Or I might just make them after Halloween. Let's be honest, because I love Halloween. And then, oh, there's a card in here. Popsicles. Hello. Hope this package makes you smile. Love your channel. Have and you have you have an amazing family. I say her name is Anna. Ann. I then forgot. Anna. Anna. I'm really bad with reading signatures. That's my personal. My brain doesn't process the information because I write chicken scratch. <laughs> I have horrible horrible penmanship i write like a two-year-old um this package made yeah. me smile so much um salt and pepper i like the um the chicken spice from aldi what what's it called okay. but just don't go real heavy on it or lucas won't eat it because it's too spicy this package made this this package came well before any of this other stuff happened and i was so happy opening i was like oh my god i said oh my god a lot okay <laughs> right so this is the second pair of salt and pepper shakers that i have received this week so this is stitch my favorite character of disney stitch and mickey mouse are kind of like equal i love them both and then this is his girlfriend angel but this is from Anesco, which is like a really cool brand they make some really gorgeous disney stuff and he is so cute he's probably gonna go in my bedroom and even though i'm not a huge fan of angel or bougie bougie she's called um they have to go together because you know they're gonna go up in my room on my my um my new dresser my new used dresser because that's where all my disney stuff that's where a lot of my disney stuff ended up at and then this came in the package as well <laughs> i want to hang this up in here which means i'm gonna have to have some help from someone else to come hang this up in here but I have a spot on my wall that's empty and this is probably going to stay up all year round. I love this so much. So it says witches gather here cinnamon stitches yarn studio. <laughs> it's going on the wall. It's probably going to be up all year round. This I love this so much. And it's such a simple thing because it's just like a printed image but I did, it's so cool. It's so cool. And that made me so happy. So I'm going to put that over there because I am absolutely going to hang that up. Have someone hang it up. And then this is once again the Inesco brand. But it's um, the Jim Shore collection, which I know how much these things cost, okay? Because I love jim shore i love his disney stuff and it's it's not cheap and i don't say that to embarrass anyone or to like i don't know now i feel embarrassed that i said it like that but i know how much these cost and the fact that there was one of these in the package i was so just blown away 
I have one other Jim Shore thing. I have one Jim Shore thing. Actually, no, I have two because I have a stitch from Christmas time. I have a Christmas stitch. He's covered in Christmas lights. And he's probably my favorite collectible of all time because I've always loved Christmas lights. I still do. And when I was a little girl, I used to wrap myself in the Christmas lights when we were decorating the Christmas tree. And I told my mom that when I die, I want to come back as a Christmas tree. <laughs> and there's a, there's actually a song um, by Vince Vance and the Valiants. I want to be a Christmas tree. It's a really cute song. I suggest you look it up. But I have a Tinkerbell over there on my bookshelf that is... Jim Shore and I got her from the Disney Movie Club. I can't get this tape open. My fingernail slipping right off of it. I got her for free using points from the Disney Movie Club when they used to let you get the points. I mean now it's really hard to get the points because everything's digital. You still can but and then I bought the stitch with the Christmas lights I think last year. I think last year was the first year I had him up. And I bought him after Christmas clearance and got a really good deal on him. But you guys see this. <laughs> I now have a gym shore for Halloween and it's stitched. I'm so in love with him. He's going on my mantle too. Is this not beautiful? So Jim Shore, his his stuff always has like, um, it reminds me of Norwegian type coloring, painting, um, flower detailing. I don't know if it's supposed to be Norwegian, but that's what it reminds me of. And says Disney traditions combine the magic of Disney with the festive artistry of Jim Shore's Heart Creek creating a new collection celebrating spirited moments of cherished memories. So this is Stitch O'Lantern. <laughs> is this not the cutest little pumpkin stitch ever? This, this makes my heart so happy and you guys I got this before all the bad stuff happened last week but um yeah. I didn't open it. I saved it till I was on camera to open him. And he makes me so happy seeing his cute little face. Like all of these cute little things for Halloween. I love Halloween so much. And this year I'm having a really hard time because I can't do all the Halloween traditions I normally do with my children. I can't take them to the pumpkin farm. I can't go trick or treating with a little man. Like I can't. There's so many things I just can't do because I broke my leg. And so at least... I can hobble around the house or a scooter around because I got a scooter. <laughs> it's it's literally, I put my knee on it and I scoot through the house. And a little man loves it because he keeps taking off with it. And I, I'm trying to do everything I can to still be cheerful and still enjoy the holiday season. And this kind of stuff just makes me so happy and so cheerful and just so... I'm so grateful to all of you who send me things, who, who pray for me, who wish me well, who... All of you, all of you that are watching this video, I'm so grateful for you. And I, I just, I'm completely overwhelmed by everything, everything. I mean, even like the little bandage for my thumb. Cause for me, my mom, I, I, I've talked about my mom a lot on the channel. I've, I have a very, I had a difficult relationship with her because of a lot of reasons, but I still adored her so much and she was she was broken and bruised and in a lot of ways she didn't do a perfect job, but with all of that she was still a very kind, caring, loving, thoughtful woman and she sent me cards for every single holiday, no matter how minor or stupid the holiday is. <laughs> she sent greeting cards out. And she always did little things like this if we were, if we needed something. And um, 
every time you guys send me stuff it makes me think of the good times with her and it kind of makes me feel like in some small way that you guys are filling in the void where I don't have family and you guys have all become my family and not just because you send me gifts but like just how thoughtful you are when it comes to me and how caring you have been towards me and I have never in my life felt as loved and appreciated and seen as I do in this period of my life and that's because of all of you so thank you is such a minute word and it doesn't feel like it's enough I love my gifts so much. Thank you so much. You never have to spend your hard-earned money on anything. To like, I just appreciate you being here for me and being here and watching the videos and all that stuff. But like, this is so over the top, generous and kind. And and thank you. But seriously, thank you. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna show you the yarn Mr. Cinnamon bought me from the thrift store because it is fabulous. I love you guys. Bye.